the war made me. Sun Tzu wrote, the God your soldiers as your children, and they will follow you into the deepest valleys. I led many of my children to the death. Sons, brothers, fathers, all men who jumped when I called for it. They fell. And I survived it all. These cassette tapes serve as an official record of my life. My words. My meaning. I will not have some writer taint them or change their purpose with conjecture. It's okay. How's it coming? Good. Like these tapes are something. There's a lot here. Sorry. I'll clean all this up. I've kind of thrown things around. I'm sorry I couldn't see him again. You're a busy man. Thanks for being here now. You wouldn't have trusted any other writer on this. He treated you like a son. It will mean a lot to his legacy. And to me. I'm gonna make some dinner. Come on down, whatever. Thanks, Sarah. How much is there in that life? How much given? How much taken for granted? How much can one man take? I earned everything I accomplished in this life. Men pushed me to my limits, and still I rose resilient like a weed. Still I found a way to leave behind my legacy. A legacy is all that matters. Ever. My days are waning. Life right now is an endless maze of tunnels and no end in sight. My mind and my body are failing me. Memories haunt me. Guilt plagues my bones and muscles. I spent years in the military, preparing for what some thought was the brink of World War III. After that, I served over a decade in the Senate for the great state of Virginia. My beloved daughter, Sarah, We've had a falling out of sorts over the man she married, Bill. I'll save those grievances for another tape, perhaps. So much pain. And I'm alone. Some days I wish I could take it all back. Everything. You're sad. 
You're fucking sad. And you're alone. Days when I needed solace and quietude, I'd retire to my special place, my place of good wishes, my place of dark secrets, my greenhouse. It's where I'd filter beneath the earth and turn it into new life. It's where I dreamed and plotted. Every man needs a place and a space to call his own. This was mine. Give you a few days off. Well, I had some sick days saved up and kind of run my division at this point. Do you mind if I see you? I'd really like to finish it first. I mean, these tapes go on for hours. We talked about you a lot. Really? Yeah. He loved you. With your dad and Bill gone AWOL, I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Having an old friend around helps. I mean, if it's for the best. What? Bill leaving. I mean, you had your issues through the years, and if you ask me, anyone who up and leaves you is not much of a man at all. It still hurts. What you find will be difficult to grasp, difficult to face, but your actions will define your character and shape my legacy forever. I knew it wouldn't take you long to find this. Sarah could never handle the truth about Bill. He provoked an enemy in me, but Sarah never saw it. He stole the truth from her. She must never come upon what I've done. She will be hurt and lost and confused. But I... I... saved... her. Saved her from... Bill! I did what I had to do. That unholy, ever-living fuck. I had to save Sarah. Because she couldn't save herself. Michael, you took up a life and printed word. 
and a defense truly is mightier than the sword, use it courageously. Right! Make it right! I need to tell you something. Yeah? No, sir, I need to tell you something. This is so hard. I'm losing my mind in this house. I just want to say goodbye and be done with it all and move on. But they're still here. I need it to go away. Can you do something for me? Yeah. Let me read what you're working on. Just a little, Mike. I read it, I can imagine it's all one big story. And it's not my life, like... Like it's... some fable. You can only fake the truth for so long. The truth hurts too much. Tomorrow. I'll finish it by tomorrow. You can read it then. Thank you. The secret to growing a prize-winning morning glory. Extra large sky blue flowers. A legacy of flowers. A bit of soil, a bit of earth. To aid in the germination, we should have soaked the seeds overnight. Many forget to do this. Sometimes the seeds we bury never make it to the surface. Sow them in average soil, partial sunlight, or in a greenhouse. Sow six inches apart and cover in one half inch of fine soil. Compact it. Firm lightly and keep evenly moist. Seedlings will emerge in seven to 21 days, and they're perfect. 